Today we want to begin just a few weeks of teaching on the power of obedience. And I really think that we, don't, we really do not realize the impact of obedience compared to the impact of disobedience. And many people don't think about this, but I'm going to prove to you something here is that really every, that when you obey God, it, your obedience is a weapon against the powers of darkness. Think about these scriptures just for a little bit here. The Bible says this, and talking about obedience is a powerful act. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the point out strongholds. So God tells us in these scriptures, he's talking about warfare. And that our warfare cannot be fought in flesh and blood. Uh, but it is a spiritual war. He says the weapons of warfare, they're not carnal. But what God gives us, he says, these, these weapons that he gives us are mighty through God. And these weapons that he talks about here are so mighty, they're able to pull down the demonic strongholds. He says, and casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And so he's telling us here is that this, whatever the weapons are, our weapons can tear down strongholds, cast down images of the mind. It can destroy knowledge that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. It, it has the ca capacity and the power to bring every thought into captivity and destroy those thoughts. And then he says this, look what he says, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So what is he talking about here? I believe he's saying that your, your obediences do what? He says, uh, 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 we revenge, we revenge all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled. And so it's a proof that your every act of obedience, when the Spirit of God prompts you, to do something. When you read something in the Word and it prompts you, when you hear preaching and, and this God speaks to your heart, those moments are vitally important. God is saying those things on purpose to you concerning what? Concerning you obeying Him so He can do great damage to the kingdom of darkness. And so He gives us these scriptures about how powerful, how powerful of an act every bit of obedience that you do every act of obedience that you do is a is a weapon to to do damage to the kingdom of darkness now obedience is a personal response or a pos personal positive response to a requirement an authority has placed upon me regardless if there's personal reward or recognition and so let's read that again. Obedience is what? It's a personal response to, to what my authorities, my God-given authorities place upon me. And I'm to obey regardless if there's personal reward or even recognition. Our rebellious Adam nature sees every act of obedience that does not benefit itself as a huge, unreasonable expectation that should not be laid upon them. And this is, this is the problem is a rebellious Adam nature does not want to obey God if it's not going to be benefited. God's looking for people, his children, who are willing to obey him, regardless if they get recognition, regardless if they get blessing, but they do it because why? Because they love God. You know, the Bible says if you love God, the commandments of God are not grievous. And so we're going to come back here next week. We're going to continue on and talk about this the power of your obediences and what it does to the kingdom of darkness.